Welcome back fellow chess fans to the video where we will meet the legends who have played the final move for a piece on Lee Chess. The date on the screen is when I uploaded the video. If an update has been published, a link to it will pop up in the card now. I've classified my move counts for each piece into three broad categories, normal, stalemate, and insufficient material. If you're curious about the details of those moves, feel free to check out the videos I made on them, links in the description. I've analyzed the entire Lee Chess database through March 2025, and I can tell you the final move played in all but seven situations. Before I get to the moves, first a disclaimer. A game is not analyzed if any of the following five items are either found in the PGN or identified by a program designed to read PGNs. This results in about 1% of games not being analyzed. There is a chance, though extremely unlikely, that one of the final moves I'm about to show you was actually played at an earlier date. I will start with insufficient material where the White Knight was the first piece to play all possible moves. This occurred on the 22nd of October 2017 when the move Knight A8 captures B6 check was played by someone. I say this because the account has been flagged as a violator of Lee Chess terms of service and I don't want to give them any credit. The next time it happened was on the 26th of December that year by the user Lasker. I can only assume this is the ghost of Emmanuel Lasker who is just seeking more chess glory. Now this account has also been closed but given there's no indication of terms of service violation I'm going to give them credit. I will apply the same logic moving forward, giving credit to an account, whether still active or not, as long as it was not closed for terms of service violations. It would be another six years until another piece finished all insufficient material moves for white. On the 11th of April 2023, Solovyev 45 played Bishop h2 captures b8 check. For black, it is also the night which had all moves played first, as on the 23rd of October 2018, Lobito Mina played knight b1 captures d2 check. Just two days later, another user played the exact same move, and that's just unfortunate. Similar to white, it would be another six years until the bishop moves were finally completed, when on the 8th of August 2024, Becht played bishop b8 captures h2 check. In a neat coincidence, just like the black knight, two days later another user played the exact same bishop move for black. All stalemate moves have been played, and here they are in chronological order starting with white. Carol Kimika played the final rook stalemate on the 22nd of July 2017, with rook h2 captures h1. The king was next just 8 days later, when on the 30th of July, king b8 captures c7 was played by Dennis Sonnenschein. Tomoral h played the final bishop move with bishop g7 captures a8 on the 2nd of February 2018. The final knight move occurred on the 31st of May 2019, when Chess Lord 45 played knight b8 captures d7. The last pawn move was played on the 19th of August 2022 with g7 captures f8 knight, very appropriately played by the user knight. Last for the white pieces, Nelson Rincon 2021 played queen h1 captures a8 on the 17th of November 2022. And now to go chronologically for the black pieces. First up was the king when Nurluk played king b2 to a1 on the 9th of October 2017. This may be the most unique final move to be played on Lee Chess as it does not involve a capture. On the 14th of February 2018, Witcher 880 found more than love when they played rook a7 captures a8. The bishop was next when on the 27th of December 2019, bishop h7 captures b1 was played by Nesser. A month later, on the 24th of January 2020, Bot157 played Knight A1 captures C2. The final Queen move was made on the 22nd of August 2021, when Queen H8 captures A1 was played by the appropriately named Checkers Boy. Finally, the last Pawn move was played by Musht, with B2 captures C1 Bishop on the 12th of March 2022. Now to the ultimate category in my opinion, Normal Moves which are, or will be, capture checkmates. The rook was the first piece to fall when on the 22nd of November 2017, user shushush 74 played rook g2 captures g1 checkmate. Next was the queen when Andre Lur played queen h2 captures h1 checkmate on the 14th of April 2018. The pawn followed the next year when c7 captures b8 bishop checkmate was played by Mila Denyachian on the 9th of August 2019. The white knight was next with knight h1 captures f2 checkmate played on the 17th of November 2020 by Bugs Bunny 97. Finally, on the 27th of January 2024, 
Juan Latoli played bishop b2, captures a1, checkmate. And now for the black pieces, where the first piece to have all moves played was the queen. On the 18th of November 2016, queen b8 captures h8 checkmate was played by Ozzy31, which also happened to be played two days later by someone who is too slow to get credit. The rook was next on the 27th of March 2018, when NTN Will played rook b7 captures b8 checkmate. The pawn has an interesting story because in January 2021, the move g2 captures h1 bishop checkmate was played by a cheater. However, a few months later, Beknazar Adirisov played the move on the 23rd of May 2021. At the moment, the last black piece to complete all moves was the knight when Marcus Ron played the move knight a8 captures c7 checkmate on the 4th of November 2021. Here are the remaining move counts starting with insufficient material. There are four pawn capture checks for white and four for black too. As for the kings, white has 96 capture checks remaining to black 77. Forcing stalemate or insufficient material draws is nice and all, but I feel the remaining moves from the normal category are the ones you really want to play. There is one bishop capture checkmate for black, and no, I will not tell you what it is. White has 39 capture checkmates remaining with the king, and black 46. My analysis begins with the start of the Lee Chess database in January 2013. While it contains almost 6.6 .6 billion rated games, I've analyzed approximately 99% of them for reasons I've already mentioned. Editor Chemist here, my number of games is based on how many are in the monthly database files Lee Chess has available at the time I download them. There's a 22,907 game difference between my count and Lee Chess's. I believe the reason for this is Lee Chess re-exported the March 2018 database for some reason and sometime after I had analyzed it in May 2024. Editor to the Editor Chemist here, I have reached out to Lee Chess about March 2018 and haven't heard back yet, but I did find this tweet from 2023 referencing their database through June of that year. Their number of games at the time, just over 4.6 billion, is the same number my spreadsheet contains, so I'm fairly confident my code to analyze the database is working as intended. In those games, nearly 436 billion moves have been played. Despite all of that, of the 32,528 unique moves I claim are possible, there are still 267 remaining, seven of which will earn you legendary status. I will provide another update when the next category has been completed, but until then, thank you very much for watching.